Welcome back everybody into another New York session. So this morning I was not looking at the London one and it was not happening. It was uh, there wasn't any big news or anything from the fundamentals uh, side of view, point of view, point of sight. Uh, yeah. But anyway, let's uh, dig into it because in 10 minutes we have the CPI for the Germany, <laughs> for the Germany, and after that. We're going to have in, 50, in the next 15 minutes the ADP employment change, which is usually a very good and a very uh, delicate uh, report, which can bring either a lot of volatility, no volatility, or just simple spike in volatility. And then in, 30, in the next 30 minutes, which is at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, we have the jobless claim. We, we will have also 15 minutes to the before the four, which is uh, 9.45 a.m. Eastern, the S&P, Global Composite PMI and Services, which are targeted as not that impacting. Yesterday we had some impacting PMIs, and this one are all both uh, above the 50 benchmark, and they are expected to stay the same. If these really, usually if these are staying the same, then uh, it's not going to, to impact that much. And remember that the main event is tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to start early because at 8 we have the retail sales uh, for Germany coming up. Then we have some CPI at 11, mainly the Euro, Eurozone as a whole. Also, we have the Italian, but we have the Eurozone as a whole. And then at 8.30 a.m. Eastern slash uh, 2.30 my time, we have a plethora of reports. NFP, uh, unemployment change, unemployment rate, uh, hourly earnings, uh, and this one at the end to just end uh, to just finish off the week with some other data today. So we are back here. So now let's have a quick uh, overlook of the markets, starting with the hourly on your USD. There we go. Okay. So your USD, as you can see. Um, throughout uh, this London session, this is the hour, yes. Uh, so yeah, from the pre-London into the London uh, session, we went, we moved around 30 pips to the upside, uh, facing this same rejection that, um, yeah, we, which, which we do, 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 was also uh, there from the early time and yeah, just briefly breaking above this hourly for around 10 pips and then push it back down. If we want to look at it on the on the lower time frame, you can see that this was basically the start of the pre-London time. We had some news, uh, very minor one, but which gave was um, especially at 10. They were all very good numbers, which brought the euro up. But you can see that yeah, the the trend line was clearly bullish. Price was making higher highs and higher lows. Double bottom, breaking above this hourly. As you can see, for pushback, then retesting it. This was with the news, and then the continuation up. So uh, this was basically the price action on the Euro USD. Let's have a look on. GPUSD basically the same. This one was from yesterday, uh, where we saw that we bounced from this hourly strong PSA and retesting. I mean, when we broke, this is doing late, late uh, New York. During New York, we failed to move too much, but uh, yeah, with the especially this was with the uh, what's the word? The Fed minutes. We saw some volume coming back in, which uh, went well into this London session, today's London session, and pushed around 80 pips on GBP USD uh, due to the weakness uh, of the uh, yeah, of the Euro, of the USD. So yeah, we can see over here how price kept making higher highs and higher lows. Here it was flat, of course, but when we after we broke above these highs over here 
that's where we got the price up for a nice at least 19.25 and this happened of course uh yeah in the early early it's basically at the, the uh, london open pre london open over here and went around 50 pips which is quite nice uh throughout the london the movement was not that clear because yeah it was only before right before 10 that we got a break above these eyes and will there still be a possible uh good trade idea this one would have been a break break even trade if we waited above the eyes if we enter at the retest of these eyes over here and uh, in this in this case then would have been a 15 pips win even so but yeah later on and this is also something that i'm going to do uh from the mid of january where i'm going to monitor the price uh all basically uh for a few hours not just from 8 to 10 not for a fixed time period but really uh in general and uh, i can see i can spot this movement even if it's happening later if i see that the price is trending that doesn't matter the time uh, you can see how price gave us this thing then we face a reaction over here which is close to this area but this area can be anywhere you can see if you just uh you can draw multiple lines so it's not really uh, that relevant but of course now since we got this reaction over here uh there is no now the hourly is this one yeah now uh before we go to quickly to gold gj gave us a very nice uh, bullish price action throughout the london session i see as you can see was absolutely amazing you can see that from the start of the london this is london basically 20 minutes after london open london open we see price pushing up when we got the retest of this previous psa uh that's where we went more than 100 pips and in a pretty much in a pretty straight line uh that that's absolutely amazing you can see from the retest of these lows yeah price went straight up even faster than this trend line and uh yeah of course we, we had uh, multiple trade ideas scalping wise you, you see here you see this bounce you see above the ppl you see above the next ppl yeah and then failing to break above break, failing to make new eyes I don't know if we also have some um some price sensitivity area if we will look at this hourly and we go to the left hand side yeah basically this ppl uh, was already a strong psa especially if we move it up like this okay and the cpi is coming up so we are going to jump really quick yeah uh into the um into euro usd let's see if there is anything that is actually going to be really impacted by this news this report of course okay so this one is as expected with an increase increase more than previous one and but the month of a month is less than previous one and yeah also the year over year is um, less is higher than previous one but less than the expected one so let's see if we have any uh, any big reaction any big movement uh, coming from there otherwise uh, we're going to wait for the next set of um, usd uh, yeah next set of usd news and reports yeah we were looking at this and gbp jpy you saw that we are reacting at these previous eyes on the left hand side and uh and yeah then we broke below we retested and we moved around 20 pips before then going back into the range gbp usd of course not affected doesn't really care too much about uh, this uh, euro report because it did not even uh, not even uh, go um euro usd did so now let's jumping into gold we can see here that um 
on the hourly this was the mix uh, movement that we saw yesterday with after the PMIs with a failure clear cut failure to break and make new lows on the hourly and uh, yeah this London did not move that much you can see the difference between this movement and the one that happened during uh, with GPUSD on EURUSD the the movement over here yeah throughout the London session from the 8:30 till around 10:30 yeah it was basically this one we were in a range yeah it was a 30 pip range where i mean uh, it moved uh much more uh, what's the word euro usd gp usd or G gp jpy they moved much more than that okay so let's see so this is the hourly so we got a bounce from these lows which is a nice now uh, lower time frame PSA to clear the key level and yeah I wanted to check this one if there's anything relevant not by no not really it is a uh, quite concurred PSA that's uh, that's sure that's for sure but not really anything that is uh, the re recently shocking but let's see if the, the lower wicks are actually reacted yeah not really not really much not much but yeah we're going to add this just because of the new risk of the recent reaction and yeah so gold uh, not much to say i would say i will have much to think about that so we're going to move uh, gbp jpy and gp usd move over here gold below didn't move below there and yeah we're going to monitor the price action accordingly as i was saying now in 12 minutes we have uh, and i might need to have uh, gold over there because gold is might be expected to move more with the um, adp which is happening in 10 minutes
So now we are three minutes away from the EDP employment change. So we want to be uh, careful, of course. If we see a very good number, this is what I might be looking for. Below these lows, yeah, we have this on the contrast in the morning. We have, yeah, below, exactly below these lows on the hourly. That's basically it. That, that's where we might have at least a correction. It's not a big range, but yeah, there's enough volatility. That's where I expect price to uh, melt to this uh, PSA. And um, okay. the same basically will happen to gold. And of course, I will have safe buy above these highs. And the safe sell will be below these lows. There we go. It should be below this hourly big resistance. Just to monitor that, this is what we see. And the same, basically the same trade idea. I'm not really sure if I want to take buys anywhere here because the best buys will be above these highs. But let's see, let's see how the data comes up in one minute. And yeah, we're talking about GPUSD is basically the same trade idea as the OUSD. We might have this one, so this one if we want to consider. Everything above here would be a little bit sketchy. It's exactly the same as Euro USD. Yes, if we break above this hourly, we might have um, a nice uh, possibly a nicer continuation, which would be this one. It's That would basically be a, a safest above these eyes. I have risk and reward. Yeah, so yeah, but I will monitor mainly gold and euro USD, which is now in the settlements. Okay, so far, yeah, it's very, very, very good. So we should see, uh, we might see a spike down in. The, in the strength of the dollar, okay. GPUSD is breaking below these lows, but it froze. Let's see where the market goes. Yeah, there's, a, there's a big volatility and spread. I don't like that. So no entry yet. So far, TJ, same thing happened for all the pairs. They retested the, the support and then pushed up. But yeah, the price is not moving very fluently. You can see how it is blocking. It is uh, frozen, freezing. Also, your USD is frozen. So not the best trading condition so far. But while the Internet is working fine. I'm not sure how internet is working fine, but the it is uh, it's not moving. The, the the feed, the liquidity is not moving fine. Just better to wait for some clear price action. Yeah, also gold. Internet, as I was saying, is moving fine. See how it is uh, it is loading, but the the feed is frozen. Where the double screen comes in a second. Yeah, that's the next button. Okay, then now it's moving.
USB, USB, the frozen as well. Okay, just wait for it to be unstuck. In fact, now it's moving back, <laughs> it's back into moving. Also, GPU USB, I, but yeah, this is weird. This I never saw it happening, especially on uh, on a nice flat one like this one. Yeah, so we got the bounce from these lows, that was nice. I mean, just cancelling bounce and support. Let's see if now it goes back to normal. Let's see what gold is or what is gold close. GPU USB over here. Pure USB in the middle of the range. Let's see now if it goes back normal to normal. I, oh, there you go. If it's going back to normal, uh, it's very low night, right? Okay. Should I talk closer? Mm, let's see. Did I touch? No. Okay. So. Should be back to normal the uh, the market. Let's see. <clears throat> so now is commerce open but so far not much of an impact on gold either let's see now we might be see, seeing us uh, i don't know if price can push below but of course on gold i will wait for the uh, the price to break below these lows of course this can be a little bit more refined, yeah. For now, it is breaking, definitely breaking below these lows. And let's see, retesting the key level, but for me, this, this was this is not my trade idea. And let's see, GPU is this still stuck in this range. Pound yen might be retesting these lows, but these eyes. But I'm not really sure if that's uh, what's going to be the continuation. Visually, it is looking looks like that, but was not a pre-planned. Was it is nothing, just curiosity. And over here, your USD is still in this range. Okay, we might be seeing. Yeah, okay. So we saw this nice movement on gold. The dollar looks like that it, it is picking up some strength on GPUSD and EURUSD, but neither of those uh, actual, actually uh, broke the PSAs where I was looking at. Over here. So let's 
Sí. Let's see if we break, get a break below these lows. Now this could possibly be the retest on gold that we were looking at. And this retest, we would have the stop loss at break even uh, if we got the retest of the key level, that, as we were mentioning. Not really a pre plan idea, but something that we were mentioning. GBP USD, let's see over here. This one, yeah, as we saw, would have been a loss trade. And uh, because it was not even a pre plan, let's see now if GBP USD actually already breaks below these lows. We still have some. Uh, noise on the left hand side so we might not uh, have a clean move down but also we don't need that since we are uh, looking for 10 pips so that's absolutely a reasonable range with no noise on the left on the left hand side a 10 pip range will go down there and it can take just a few minutes okay we have jobless claims coming up in seven minutes gold uh, if we enter over here yeah we'll, uh, we'll have had around five four pips of drawdown but let's see if it continues and pushes down so far looks like the, U the usd is not uh, gaining any strength anytime soon we might see it on the with the jobless claims volume and volatility coming in Hopefully they are good, so they can give us the the chance of selling more nicely into new lows. So over here, we might see why the retest of the last lows, something that I should still stick with it instead of taking the old lows, the thing that I was backtesting for a long time. So let's see. Okay, five minutes before the uh, non farm, uh, the Jobless claims, EURUSD and GPUSD are stuck in this range. Found yen is not doing much. So, not really something of interest. And the gold is not moving that much either. So, we are going to wait, most likely wait for the, um, the, the actual report to come up to hopefully bring some more volume into the table and maybe give us a direction for the for the session and of course then we have the new four hour candle we have the new york stock exchange opening so,
yeah so you can see that gold bounce from this hourly so mm, good not to enter i mean if we add to just for the backtesting purposes this one would have been a, a loss as per as per trade ideas if we enter nonetheless if we entered anyway with whatever yeah this one would have been a loss now let's see uh, with the jobless claims if we have anything new coming to the table gpusd is here gj is, is ranging and in one minute we have the jobless claims let's see if if it is going to be a good number which means that is going to be um, a decrease in the actual number that we're going to see at, on screen uh, then we might see some continuation on the downside ah, I didn't want to do that um, we might see some continuation on the downside for the EURUSD which I'm showing you now and on the GPUSD that I was showing you earlier and but let's see if especially now with the, in the new four hour there is going to be some nice volume coming into the table i don't like this i mean it has of course there's some news coming up but there's some spread i don't like it that's not what i signed for let's see 2010 wow very good so this should bring some you see that it stopped yeah, it should go down we should when it uh, defreezes we're going to see that uh, it, it is going to be down absolutely yeah because it's a very good number uh, feeding into the ADP narrative same bias so we should be able to see uh, good yeah yeah you can see how now it's pushing down let's see how it's going to react at the hourly Also on GPUSD, we got the same price action and gold, yeah, gold the same. But the thing is that it uh, froze. So yeah, now we might have a, a possible retest. We're going to see some possible retest below these lows. Let's have a look at if GPUSD gives us a retest of these lows as well. Found the end again, same. USD bounce from a, a, an hourly so we might I want to be careful I want to also I might take this retest but I want to be very cautious uh, if I don't want I don't want to see it break above and back into the range otherwise this entry which will be below this pivot it's a very good trade idea also everything depends on the on the market I mean it's uh, two out of two that the, the market is freezing exactly at the news which is not good usually it never happens this so that's uh, that's quite a weird yeah, the demo account is moving and is moving is going down oh, now it's frozen as well It's, uh, it's probably going to be down uh, again you can see yes so that's uh i don't like this this price action this liquidity is not good but i mean for doing trading during the news is uh, anyway it's not a good idea the only thing is that yeah there is no Someone cannot trade, it's very, very risky. Also, GPUSD is following the same path. Gold, probably the same. Yeah, gold broke below these lows. Gold is moving a little bit more than the other two pairs. For a sheer number of pips. Also, GPUSD, but I mean, now I cannot trade. In this moment, the price is not moving the internet 
is working internet is working but uh, the the feed is not so let's see what do we get Yeah, on Oanda, we are seeing some movement. The handles are moving, but I see market is getting stuck now. But yeah, just by looking at the trading view now looks like that price is moving on USD. we are now seeing this possible yeah this possible bound area uh, retest of the area which is the hourly psa that we were looking at That's why we might take an entry, might have taken the entry to go back down. Okay, uh, gold retested. Gold retested nothing. So, yeah, maybe we retested these lows. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, we're not seeing, uh, talking about uh, a huge push down. Yeah, let's see if we break below these lows. GPUSD, the same thing, not moving too much. Let's see if we break below these lows. USD sketchy perception, as we, uh, we were seeing. So good not to enter uh, at those lows. Gold still failing to break below. But if we break below, we should have quite a nice range to fill with the USD strength. Good for um, your USD. That's good. See? Yeah, it's good not to trust uh, blindly this PSA just for the sake of it. Let's see now if we see some further price action and continuation down. Okay. Yeah, pound the USD the same, pound the end not moving. Now we just we don't have anything, so we're just looking at the price action throughout the session with the new four hour with the new socket change and let's see how the price is going to develop the day before um, the day before the NFP
So now we are getting this possible retest of the of these lows before the possible continuation down, which might not actually be a bad idea. Yeah, just to retest those lows would be around 10 pips. That's a nice 75-ish retest uh, retracement. Let's see. Down here will be the break even level. GPUSD re did not retrace all the way back up, so the was in the middle of the range. I would want to see the price to actually break below these lows, break the, the lower week, for us to see some further strength in the, the USD and possibly take advantage of it. USD is back at the same level, which might be the our usual second chance entry that it gives us. Gold is now back at these lows with possible entry. Uh, possible entry if we see some uh, strong price action on the downside. GPUSD is back at these lows. EOUSD will be basically no, 3 pips, not a break even. But gold, yeah, gold pushing down. But I mean, we're talking about a very small range. And the GPUSD, I want to see if it's going to break below these lows uh, for possible entry. Okay, so now it's pushing at these lows. I don't know if from the for the previous trade idea would have been better, but I want to trust this lower week, which usually is full of orders. Uh, USD is still struggling to go to at least to break even. As you can see, it would have gone only like 4.5 pips. GPUSD is pushing against this resistance and a support, of course. And gold actually bro broke and retested down there. Yeah, let's see. Let's see the movement. Your USD now will be at break even with the TP down there. Yeah, TP will be down there. Yes. So let's see. Uh, let's also see GBP USD. Okay, now let's see. Let's have a look at it. Wow, gold did exactly what we were looking at for the retest of this area. But of course, now it's moving around 16 pips. Don't, do not get to, to bump it up. Let's see now. Let's see where it closes. That's where we might see some impossible entry. Yeah, I don't like the push up. So good to wait for the, for the entry. Let's see when GPUSD is going to give us some further confirmation. 
this is one of the times where it's good to wait for the candle to close uh, also uh, euro usd at the same time is struggling to break below here will only be five pips in profits gold still at these lows still around 16 pips of movement from there yeah. this looks like a strong quite a strong um, bounce for the usd so that's i want to be uh, extra sure i want to be uh, really i want to be seeing some market structure correction now with this price action coming in like this now that's that will be the the main thing if i want to bet on the usd strength yeah you all this back at the entry let's see gp usd gp usd is the one that it might give us a trade idea a, a applicable trade idea compared to the um for example euro usd which is now in the middle of the range so let's see now what is going to give us gp usd what is going to give us some opportunity to enter i like this volatility almost want to enter at this candle close okay I'm going to monitor for a retest. EURUSD broke below these lows now. Let's see if we get a retest of these lows. I might take a quick entry. A sell entry to go down to these lows. But it looks like that I'm going to get it uh, on GBP USD. pushing okay we are in on your usd already in a quite a drawdown <laughs> let's see Let's see if it's going to reverse. Yes, so we got stopped out. That's okay, but I mean, the trade idea was there, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. Also, we did not do any of these. So, is the USD this one over here? We trade. USD short trending slash mixed break and retest of after and of pullback. Uh, mixed. Okay. trade uh, I didn't do that yeah this one would have been a break even trade so okay Mm 
okay so this one is the actual post trade yes lesson to learn earlier entry would have been a break even instead of taking late one Gratitude took my first trade the year, even though I missed the previous one, did not chicken out. Okay, now let's see uh, how it continues. Also, of course, also on GBPUSD. Now, GPUSD is might, might be retesting this area now, but uh, it's not something that I really want to take, but interesting to see. Found the end, uh, actually broke and retested above these eyes. Wow, this was a nice and clean break and retest. Uh, we'll be at break even right now. Let's see gold. Well, uh, the same, this one would have been probably a loss or a break even, but price still moving in a weird fashion. Okay, let's see GPUSD if it's pushing up above the PPPL. Your USD, mm, not really, uh, I want to, to monitor it, yeah, to understand what I want to, to see in it. This one uh, looks like a nice break and retest but I don't see why, I don't see a reasoning for me to be looking for a buy before this bullish candle, so not really get, getting too much uh, into that. And uh, yeah, GPUSD from that area is now giving us more of a, a nicer reaction. This entry would be at break even after going like 1.7 pips in drawdown, which is absolutely fine would be now at break even so even now if it's bouncing from this area from this neckline of the top of the possible double bottom uh it's still okay it will need to reach these lows before it can give us um to go to the tp yeah but as you can see even if it's bouncing from this neckline it will still be safely uh, with the stop loss at break even anyway so let's see how it develops gold still pushing bullish gpusd still pushing bullish with the stop loss basically at break even now well, depends on the spread yeah maybe it might not be at break even yet and yeah i wanted to continue down at least to these lows but this is not an entry that I will take but with if I got the early entry which was the pre-plan idea then uh, it's uh, it's already at least at break even let's see now this reaction area Also, we are five minutes from the New York, uh, from the new four hour. So we might, uh, yeah, we might need to adjust this. 
Hold here. This one's okay. Yeah, these are would have gone. Twelve pips. Okay. Good. Pushing up. Also, your USD is doing that thing, and I guess that GPUSD bounced from those from that area. Yeah, still bouncing from this area. Euro USD. I don't think that I'm go something that I look for something like this. I don't think it would be five pips just to reach those eyes which is not bad but you know, it's, we are in the middle of the range yes price made a double bottom at this hourly candle but hourly psa but it's not a huge a huge deal i would say so let's see where the price wants to go in the near future Okay, this one is done. So, quick notes. The session going to be to Jim and Jerry's. Nice perception. Reports Okay. This is what I'm doing, but it's not the main thing that is um, doing me some favor. GPUSD uh, still our entry will be safe and would have gone around seven pips uh, for the, as per this trade idea, which was not that idea was what I wanted to see in the market. Uh, we would have this 
Um, also this possible trigger with the break every test of these lows, which will be at break even down here at around five pips. Let's see, GPUSD, GPJPY is still there. Let's see, uh, gold, gold got rejected at the same eyes and pushed down around 20 pips, not much, not so, uh, an incredible amount of volume, like, wow, a wow level of volume. Uh, your USD is still in the range. Yeah, so far now, uh, GPUSD is the one that gave us the best, best trade opportunity. This pullback would have been nice. And DTP would be down here. So we'll almost be at TP with the possible second entry, which would be at break even, basically. So, yeah. Not, TP not it yet. Would I take out now? Would I take it out manually when I see that? Might be. Yeah, TP it on this one, as you can see. And this one will be already at break even. Six pips with the TP a little bit below these lows so let's see about that the OSD is not moving that much at the same time so you see why it is good to monitor both gold over there not interested in that yeah gpu is, is still there let's see now the reaction at these lows for uh, pound usd because now these are the last lows this was the previous one so uh, let's see. Okay. Your USD is still stuck in this range, so there was no trade opportunity. Okay, so I also missed out that this one was the new for an hour open and the lower week being created. So that's another uh, quite inaccuracy of missing out on this. Oof. Because it means that I'm missing out on the details and uh, which are, are not details because you can see how it can bring volume spikes um, straight away and maybe I don't understand why and your USD might be giving us the retest that we, uh, we might have been looking for not really sure about that uh, because still we are in the middle of the range and but my, we already made the lower week and we are, can possibly now push bullish yeah we made the lower week can possibly now push bullish uh, five pips just to reach those eyes, but let's see. Uh, GPUSD at the same area where we had the stop loss at break even. Uh, now it's pushing back down, so quite sketchy. Not sketchy, no, but quite unfortunate, I would say. GPUSD not doing much. GPJPY 
and uh, EURUSD might have given us the, that bounce entry, but that doesn't mean that the price is going to push up. So let me bring uh, over here GPUSD and EURUSD is going on the second screen for now. Okay, so this one was already done. Tan 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 tan. Okay, I just want to. Oh, it's pushing down. Uh, okay. So yeah, you see that the entry on EURUSD would have been good, the not, not entering uh, is good. That's because uh, there was we, we are, there's not a high priority setup. And well, at the same time, GPUSD, uh, if we didn't have the, the break even, this one would still be okay. And this one would be a winning trade as well. So just to be clear about that, this might be the retest that we were looking for. This exact retest. USD bounce from the support, so uh, might this is gold. Let's see if it gold breaks below these lows. And yeah, USD bounce so far. So I don't know if now if it, this is going to break, then we're going to see the continuation here on GBP USD. As I was saying, USD is breaking, and so might have had a missed entry on GPUSD at this candle close. Here to be break even. So yeah, uh, even GPUSD will be at break even. Your USD, as I said, broke these lows. Uh, the stop loss will not be at break even yet. Uh, probably will be. If we entered over there. It will be at break even when it reaches down there. So you can see it is moving a little bit less than uh, GPUSD. And gold, gold broke below. Did not give us a full retest. And then continue like 13 pips. And you can see that the break, the retest, pullback retest, were the better entry rather than just a quick break and retest. This is your USD. Pound USD with an entry over there would be six pips now. So let's see. And also, this continuation was this was our second entry chance to give us some good and nice pips bounce from this hourly on euro usd bouncing from the same lows as before gold possibly retesting this area to then continue down 
and uh, yeah, GPU SD looks like it's going to be a break even. Yeah, this one would have been a break even trade because we got um, yeah. we got it pushed down. And let's see if it, even this one give, gives us the same perception. This one is the same as this one. Then uh, I might really consider something about. Uh, the, the break even rule also on gold if you see i mean this entry this is at the old lows this is the most recent ones that's what i should take as an entry and uh, yeah let's see how it continues your usd gave us the retest of this level as well let's see if now it's going to continue down same thing that i was talking about on gpusd gpusd yeah the second entry will be Basically, we have almost reached uh, break even. So, yeah, just the same. Okay. Entry. It's been at break even. Second retest will take me out before continuing. The same thing. Okay, because yeah, we got the same trade idea of voice over here. So But let's see if it's going to be the same or not. Gold, yeah, gold uh, pushing up. Must be only four pips. Triple top over here on the Euro USD. And let's see if pound yen is going to push bearish. And Okay, pound yen, yep, oh, um, GPUSD. Pound yen actually kept uh, pushing bullish. So after this price action, which was not the greatest, but yeah, pushed uh, around some pips more. This one I think would have been a break even before pushing up. So I really start to consider if the break even rule is actually good or is actually de detrimental. If we look at the uh, my the December, the EU, this one, yeah, we were seeing that. Yeah, that overall the TP10 without the break even was a little bit better. Or break even at 7.5 pips. Let's see. Let's see.
So yeah, we're seeing uh, UUSD keeps uh, bouncing off this area. And uh, yeah, the same thing is happening over here on GPUSD. Still the entry over here will still be very safe because stop loss will be right there. But yeah, let's see uh, how the, the perception is going to develop. Gold, yeah, gold got actually a break every test on the other side, but the, it is not moving that much. Uh, this one would have been a loss. Okay, we would have gone like 8 pips and then 10 pips on the other side. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I want to see how dollar pair would move because it doesn't look like it's going to, it's not looking promising for now. Remember, we still have New York Stock Exchange opening, we have the report at 45, we have the 10 a.m., so everything can happen.
Okay, so I'm back and we're coming. Yeah, New York Stock Exchange open. You can see that, yeah, the, we got into a maximum of 1.8 pips of drawdown so far. Let's see if it's going to reach uh, around 10 pips. This is more, I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's just one single case, but just to analyze it, yeah, GJ still pushing. Uh, gold went uh, all the way back up, but not moving that much. Euro USD moving exactly like GBP USD, but yeah, the thing is that it moved much too much uh, more above these order block eyes compared to U G G U, which it did not. So uh, an entry over here on Euro USD would have been stopped out. The same one on GBP USD would have not. Let's see if now. If it's going to break below these lows with the New York Stock Exchange opening and the volume coming from that. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have much sense now, but. Mm -mm -mm.
Okay, so we got another reaction at these same eyes. So yeah, we can see that the price is not really trending. Uh, we are probably going to wait for we, tomorrow. We are going to have some uh, better price action, but nonetheless, if we get some further confirmation of price trending, then we are not going to miss out on that. And GBP JPY broke above this one. Would have been a nice entry to those eyes and uh, your USD with a quick attempt to break below these lows but not really giving us uh, that trade idea of the, of the century gold went back to these lows so so far there's nothing really that we are missing out on let's see if now with some volume and it pushes below that's where we can see some possible nice trade idea playing out. Yeah, it's still a big range. I mean, just to go there would be uh, nine pips, but let's see. This entry would have been a break even with these current rules, uh, but I would have had a win and a loss if I had uh, so instead of two break evens, I would have had still more profits if I didn't have the rule. Uh, this is looking nice, but yeah, breaking above the this other block. Um, so yeah, overall a win because it was this one would have not been stopped out and a loss, uh, it's okay. It's still a profitable one compared to two break-even trades. And if we look at EURUSD, we bounce again from this area, from this hourly area, and we are over here on the uh, on gold. Let's see if the PMIs are going to um, have any impact. Let's see. Slightly better, slightly worse. I don't think it's going to impact that much. So far, your USD brought some volatility, yes, but not some, not really. Let's see, up gold. Yeah, if gold wants to retest and then continue down, might be a nice spike. Uh, your GBUSD, this entry would have been a loss. If we took this uh, high risk reward entry, but I mean, it was uh, three minutes before the news, so probably not the best idea would have been. So here, let's see, your USD not affected too much. And the gold is still bouncing from this low, so still not breaking below. Let's see if it brings some volatility uh, into that. Yeah. 
this one is good this one is bad still above 50 so still good but i'm not expecting too much apart from that uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i see you tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to have some interesting interesting friday we have the from the 8th we have some retail sales then we have the london session quite a long one then we have the uh, red folder day uh, during the friday uh, nfp so i hope you guys enjoyed let's see if it's pushing down Opa. let's see if it continues down below there GPUSD ranging, so not much. GP, GPY broke above the PPL and retested it. So that's where we might have some possible continuation up. Uh, just let's see. Gold might have been retesting now the entry level. So let's just monitor. Let's just monitor it briefly.
Well, wow, nice. You can see how this entry also is already spiking up. Yeah, a little bit of overing here and there, but now a nice uh, 15 pips. Even a better entry would have been over here. Basically, 15 pips. If my entry was there with the spread, yeah, we will need a little bit of push more, a little bit above. Yeah, also, we got some dollar weakness over there. And uh, yeah, gold absolutely garbage. And let's see your USD garbage. So you can see how uh, sometimes GPUSD might give us better entry. You can also see that the retest was of the last area, not the old ones. But anyway, yeah, one possible entry with a loss. I don't know if I already took possible put that this one. Yeah, because this one was before the news, so it didn't make actual sense. But yeah, mm, I would not taken this at the news after these many bounces. Yeah, but looks looking nice. This one would have not given us a retest. Let's see. Yeah, looks like nice, nice push. okay okay guys uh well, with this last trade idea for the winning trade idea i hope you guys enjoyed I mean, it was not a pre-plan uh but see you tomorrow